Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Qingxu. Let's look at the problem 16 in chapter 5. In this one, you can see we have, we have a small box. And someone just push it against a roughly vertical wall. And in this one, we know the angle, the force, the by the person, right? And also, we know the uh, static and kinetic friction coefficient. 0.4 and 0.3. Then this one asks you the box slides down on this applied force force has a magnitude of the 23 newton. So this Fp is given. So ask you find the mass of the box. So in this one we want look at this and the box slides down unless it applied for the force. So that means in this case we just need to find the boundary, right? The box just kept stationary, and then if over this one, the box will slide down. So in this case, the box is still stationary. We still choose the static uh, uh, coefficient of a fraction, 0 0.4, this one. And then we do the force analysis. We, have, we can see on this small box, we have the gravity, the friction, the normal force, from the wall to the box and the force applied by the person. Of course, we can project the force by the person in X component and a Y component. So we have Fp cosine theta and Fp sine theta. Then we can consider Newton's second law. First thing we look at the Y component. We have the friction plus this one, this uh, Fp sine theta, right, up. And then minus the gravity equals zero because it is stationary at zero. And then we look at the x component, we have fp cosine theta minus f equals zero. And the next one we consider is the friction. The friction just equals the coefficient times the normal force. And the, this coefficient in this time, we choose it as a static friction. And you can see in these uh, three equations, we can solve the equation for the mass. So we just input the f inside, right? The, we, we can just... Uh, Look at the fraction. Fraction is mu s times f f is f p cosine theta. Therefore, we can write this equation and we get the mass in this uh, in this uh, function as a function with uh, f p. In this one, if you input the numbers inside, input the numbers inside, you can find as far as the mass is one point nine kilogram. So in these problems, the most important thing I think in this uh, discrimination about problems is tell you. The box slides down unless the applied force has the magnitude 23 newton. So in this way, it tell you we can consider the box just just stationary. And if over this one, it will um, if it will move. But when it is this force, when the Fp is 23 newtons, the box is stationary. Thank you.